a very warm good morning to everyone in this online module i'm going to teach you the lesson should wizard hit mommy i'll give you the whole overview of the chapter hope you will get the essence of the chapter and make the possible notes in your notes book so this chapter is a children's story dealing with the serious theme of good parenting and the adult tendency to curb the curious and questioning mind of a child this particular lesson is written by the author john updike he is one of the famous american novelist poet short story writer and critic he won the pulitzer prize for fiction twice his fiction is distinguished by its attention to the concerns passions and sufferings of average americans so here is the story should wizard hit mommy as far as the title is concerned you can see that it is in the question style or an interrogative mark so the author is asking a very relevant question from the mouth of the character that should wizard hit mommy let's see why this particular character wants mommy to get hit from wizard what is the particular thing or uh, mistake mommy has done in this story we will see that children issue of difference in perspective is being discussed plus we have the theme of good parenting and the adults tendency to curb the curious minds and how the jack the father telling the story to 4 year old child john he tries to teach her a moral lesson and moral values through his stories every story had a slight variation of the same story john being very young fails to realize the true worth of originality but jack tries hard to convince her that one should not change one's identity or personality just to get accepted by the society so here's the story and the main character jack who was the father of two little kids joe and bobby and his wife claire was 6 months pregnant with their third child so these are the main character with us we have roger skunk he gets the wizard to give him a pleasant smell but his mommy gets the gets it changed afterwards then roger skunk's mommy she is roger skunk's mommy who insist on having her her way with roger by forcing him to follow tradition so these are the main characters of the story now i'm going to tell you summary of the chapter first we will target what the theme of jack's story jack begin telling joe bedtime stories since she was 2 years old and she was very much fond of listening the story over the years he had started to run out of ideas every story was a variation of the basic tale a small animal usually named roger had some problem he went to the wise owl and the owl advised him to go to the wizard the wizard used to solve roger's problem and asked for a fee roger didn't have the required amount but the wizard told roger where and how he could get the money roger found the money paid the wizard went home and had a lovely dinner with his family roger's kung story it was saturday evening that day and time for joe's usual naps jack asked joe about the new lead in the story 
जो वॉन्टेड इट टू बी अ स्कंक हैविंग अ फ्रेश हीरो मोमेंटरली स्टिल जैक टू क्रिएटिव एंथोजियाजम जैक स्टार्टेड नरेटिंग द रॉजर्स स्कंक स्टोरी रॉजर्स स्मेल्ट वेरी बैड एंड अदर क्रीचर्स हेटेड हिम फॉर दैट ही वुड रन अवे फ्रॉम हिम दे टीज हिम बाय कॉलिंग हिम स्टिंकी स्कंक स्टिंकी स्कंक सो रॉजर फेल्ट वेरी बैड एंड ही हैड नो फ्रेंड्स जैक वॉज हैप्पी टू गेट एन अनएक्सपेक्टेड रिएक्शन फ्रॉम हर एट हिज स्टोरीज एंड नाउ बिकम मच टू प्रडिक्टेबल फॉर जो सो ईच न्यू स्टोरी वॉज अ बिट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द बेस स्टोरी एंड द कैरेक्टर वॉज द सेम दैट इज रॉजर so here on the slide you can see that roger was disabled he could not play with his friends and he was left alone seeing him cry a wise owl advises him to meet a wizard and then wizard helps him to get rid of his bad smell or odor or ailment by playing a few pennies roger is accepted by his friends and he became happy because he was now a sweet or heart for all now one saturday jack told another roger episode a new animal skunk in the story here because jo wanted that to be the story hero when a skunk is attacked by its enemies it can emit a foul smell so as usual roger suffered indignity alienation disapproval withdrawal and he went to wise owl owl advised him to meet to the wizard wizard again asked for penny and changed his bad odor into good smell or fragrance again roger became happy his friends accepted him in order to establish a father's commanding power in the family and to remind this child that children have to listen their parents jack told joe the story was not over i and instantly joe awoke from the sound sleep so the story took a new digression a deviation that jack deliberately brought in roger ma- mothers didn't like the new smell however sweet it was but why mother took roger back to wizard and hit the wizard with umbrella and explained how his magic ang- angered her Joe was displeased with the new ending see here and wanted her father to make the wizard hit Roger but Jack was not ready to make any changes in his story as a story teller he became little adamant Jack wanted the story to remain a reminder to Joe to understand the importance of yielding to her parents she was a stupid mommy she said she was angry i want you to tell me the story that wizard took the magic wand hit that mommy hey get under the covers and fall asleep bobby is asleep already now you can see how jack got annoyed on watching the joe's reaction so jack went downstairs with this dilemma that her, his child was actually not understanding his position and he was caught in an ugly middle position between a child and adults view of the world so for both the world view is different and here the parent is thinking that how they can make them understand their own point of view and here the child was annoyed to see the uh, conventional traditional uh, sometimes rigid way of parenting so 
द स्टोरी हैड अ ट्विस्ट हि जोज एंडिंग टू द रॉजर्स कंक स्टोरी जैक कंटिन्यूड विद द स्टोरी एंड दिस इज हाउ टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द स्टोरी वी गेट अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द मैरिटल टेंशन बिटवीन जैक एंड क्लेयर ऑल्सो दो जैक वॉच डिज वाइफ वर्क he did not help her he felt that both of them were caged together he did not want to speak with her work with her or touch her so here we have seen that the story had actually ended up in a dilemma or in a gloom uh, we can say that despair so thank you for watching this now i am going to discuss some of the important questions here now with you question number 1 why did roger skunk go to the owl answer is roger skunk went to the owl because he wanted his smell removed so that he could have friends with him who can play the owl advised him to go to wizard and solve his problems what did jo feel that the skunk's mommy was stupid why did jo feel that skunk's mommy was stupid jo felt that roger skunk's mommy was stupid because jo thought that his mother was gravely wrong in getting roger's original smell back after roger began to smell of roses he was happily accepted by his playmates and accordingly to jo there was no need for him to smell awful again so this was the important questions the i want you all to please follow my other link to uh, for further understanding and write down the notes as i have shared you the links of ncert question answers also thank you have a nice day